Hey guys, how's it going? It's Linda here today with a review of the iDoc for you guys. This product retails for $30 on blingberry.com. I actually purchased this through a living social deal for $15, so you know, that was pretty nice. You can get this cheaper on Blue Lounge's website, and I'll put all the links down below. It's the same product, it's called the Mini Doc, and all it does is has the name of the company right here, and this one doesn't. So let's get into this. So let's take a look at the box. You can see the information right here. Feel free to pause the video and read any of these. And what I found about this product is it doesn't have any other colors, which is kind of depressing. And it does have an iPhone 5 version, but you know, it has the same picture for the 30 pin connector as the iPhone 5. So I'm not sure if it's the right one, but you know, I would think so. And you can see the power adapter is not included, so that's the main thing about this. So for a $30 product, I'm kind of, you know, sad that it doesn't come with the Apple charger. But, you know, I pay $15 for it, so, you know, not too bad. So in the packaging, you're going to get an instruction kind of guide for these foam tips, which come in sizes of 1.5, 2.5, and 3.5 millimeters. And you can see what it does. Here's what they look like get three of them already pre-cut you just kind of uh, peel off the st the back of the adhesive side and then you stick it on like so so this is the 2.5 version and I don't actually have that thick of a case on mine so you know this fits pretty snug with my iPod touch second generation this whoops this is the 30 pin connector version if you guys can tell like I said I wish they had other colors gray is kind of boring but whatever and then the USB charger. So the wide base is really nice and it keeps the product pretty stable. So I'll plug it in like so. And you can see it is pretty flush with the actual product, which is nice and what I'd expect from a $30 product. So that's really nice. Uh, if you guys want to tell how big it is compared to my iPod Touch second generation right there. Okay, maybe right there. Right, and then sideways, right there. So not too big of a product. It does stick out a little bit against the wall, so you want to be careful. Um, don't put it somewhere where someone likes to walk close to the wall because you can knock it over. But I'll plug in the product real quick, and you can tell right here, this is what it looks like if it was against the wall. Right there. So it does stick out a little bit, and you can see the foam tip in action. But, you know, mine kind of rests against it, but, you know, it's pretty good. So there's a little wobby, well, you know, unstable in there, but not too bad. So let's plug it into the wall and check it out. So we got the outlet right here, and there you go. Now the first time you do this, you do want to check that your outlet is strong enough to withhold this because if you have a loose outlet you know the product could fall over so you know want to hold your hand under it a little bit and make sure it's stable by itself you can see it is charging so that's nice and it is off the floor if you guys can tell I can bring you guys down no cables or anything on the floor so that's really nice so the product pretty much does what it says it would do. It's on the little costly side for $30. Um, I would expect to see a power adapter with it. But that's pretty much uh, you know, what I think about it. If you guys are interested in checking this out, once again, links down below. That is pretty much it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.